Hello guys, welcome to another video of The Mind Feed. I am your host Vibhav Kulkarni. So today in this video, we are going to see how to create or convert your website into an Android app which you can publish to Google Play Store. This is pretty easy, quick and simple and you can literally do it in just 5 minutes. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do subscribe to our channel and let's go. So the first thing you need to do is open a new tab and enter Codular. Then visit this website codular.io for which you can find the link uh, in description. Now simply click on create app. <coughs> so here you can see that you will uh, see an option to sign up. Uh, or a create account so just I'm gonna use Google sign in to log into this account and uh, wait a minute okay so great so you just need to uh, click authorized and you will be on a dashboard where you need to accept these terms and condition and now it will give you a small kind of uh, dashboard where you can see this option create project import project so now we are gonna create a new project that is for example the mind feed okay so uh, you cannot use space over here so you just need to use the underscore and now you can click on next so this theme like based on the themes you can select whatever dark theme you want light theme you want it's better to keep it default and the minimum SS SDK level which means uh, if someone has uh, Android device or, or any Android version. So what will be the minimum version you want it to be run? So it's better you keep it around 8 uh, or something because not everyone will have the higher end of the Android or Android 10. So the average out you can keep it over 8. Then the package name you need to enter for example the website domain or the name we have is this the mindfeed.net. So you need to do it like net dot the mind feed dot www so you just need to reverse it or something then you can simply choose the colors of the theme so my primary color is this then my primary color for dark will be something like this then my ascent color will be something like this so you can basically use your theme colors or for the app and just click on finish then now these are the some of the changes they are uh, recently added so just click on close so uh, you will see uh, this kind of section here this is the element section from where you can add element to the screen and this is the section from where you can configure it okay and there is one more section which is blocks so basically uh, the logics are built here the control logics and those things are built here and it is designed here to create a web view app you need to do is go to uh, logout portion uh, sorry lay, uh, the layout portion then go to views then here you will see a web view just go and drag it over here so now uh, if you want you can keep this screen one section and change its name to something else like home or something or your app name like the mind feed so it will be uh, static then uh, the name like now you can see that it's changed so if you can keep like that you can hide the status bar and these are the various options like you can show the menu option and all but for me I don't uh, want this title to be visible here and I, and, and, and I want it to be the completely uh, in a full view also I want the status bar to be there so I will keep it like that then you can add a few of the animations and all whatever you need then uh, the background color and all you can add the navigation color you can choose now let's go to web viewer so here you need to keep it as it is now uh, the height should be as it is width should be as it is you just need to enter this thing here and uh, it should be scrollable so that the section is scrollable it is visible so it should be visible if you want your website to be zoomed 
just enable this and uh, like the display should be zoomed or your website portion should be or the element like this should be zoomed you need to do uh, enable this and then zoom percentage now if you are disable if you are going to disable this you can just skip this portion then you can add like few of the errors and desktop mode then load images then uh, if there is some permission is required on your website this needs to be you so these are the various things which can be uh, chosen and now once it is done just need to go to the blogs and uh, everything is done you just need to add a control or a, a thing like when the back button is pressed okay so when the back button is placed close the application okay the when the screen one back press do close application so this is the logic and now the app is almost ready so you can just go here you need to enter the app name so app name is the mind feed the icon you can upload uh, it from here so you just need to uh, drag any file over here you can just use this button and you can upload it here then you can also upload the splash screen uh, so this this can be uploaded from here if you don't have splash screen just untick this and it won't you don't need anything uh, here keep it as it is theming you can use like this in publication you need to if you are uh, this is the next version of your app you need to change this settings and for monetization if you have google app id if you have created the google ads if you want to uh, include that uh, so that can be done so we are not got we are not going to see this in uh, this in this part so then if you are like using the google app games uh, or the if you are publishing it on google play store and you want it linked to be the google play uh, so uh, you need to enter here if you want to send notifications you need to enter the sign on and those apis here so uh, that's it for this uh, like portion and then you need to just go and click on export apk so for apk so if you want it to be installed for your end only you just need to download this apk file but if you want it to be published on google play store uh, you need to download this particular file okay so now uh, let me just show you first how the app is created so let me uh, create an app and download an apk and i will show you how the app is looking right now so it's uh, it's generating now if you want to uh, create an app that needs to publish on google play store so you need to export this part and you need to uh, create an account on google uh, play developer uh, google play console so it takes you around 25 dollars to create an account there so it's better you don't uh, do it just for fun if you wanna do uh, like create an account then you can do that so that can be seen in next video so let me show you how this app looks now so as you can see i have installed the apk now i'm just gonna uh, click on open to open this app and now you can see here so the app is open so i don't have the splash screen so directly website is appeared over here and as you can see the it's very easy to scroll and all the functions of a website is working here uh, there is no uh, any clutter or any issue here it is pretty, pretty easy so my website has ads so it has ads as well and when you whenever you go into collection part or even a single block part so everything is perfect and there is uh, no issue with anything so it's pretty easy to convert any website into app and if you can uh, want to publish this uh, app into google play store even that can be done with this method so guys that's it for this video i hope you got to learn a lot in this video if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching see you bye bye in next video